Thanks for staying with us now. If you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're asking what will make a man completely abandon his child for his partner, whether currently or estranged, you know, to mm. take care of. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 8 one 803 Okay, we'll open our phone lines, please. When you're calling, try to turn off the volume of your television set and try to keep your conversations within a minute so we can get more people to talk. All right, so Lami, before we went on a very short break, I was saying that, you know, okay, you cannot mandate the man to be involved in the life of the child, but you can get child support from the man, oh, child maintenance. Financially, of course, education-wise and mm -hmm. all that, he should provide. The court will ensure that. Okay. But Even cannot... though you were not married. Oh, definitely. Oh. You cannot discriminate against a child because of the circumstances of the awesome. that surrounds the birth of the child. That mm. is constitution. It's the constitutional right of the child to be taken care of mm. by the parents, and especially with the enactment of the child rights law. Mm. It is a law. You you must, when you bring a child into the world, you must cater for that child mm. up until the age of 18. Mm -hmm. So the child, the court will definitely will compel that person. I have a lot of cases I'm handling in court that is surrounded about child maintenance. There's even one who, who are, ha, hey, man, man. this man, <laughs> eh, who are, I don't want to mention his name. It is not right professionally to mention his name. Exactly. This man, when you, when you talk about a celebrity fashion designer, that impregnated a young girl and hmm. they had a child and he had just two kids too. the first one grown and just this child do you know that the man refused to cater for the child when we now went to the court and all the court awarded fifty thousand naira and school fees hmm. do you know the man is contesting it at the appeal uh -uh. he's appealing the decision why so when i saw and he's even asking for stay of execution stay of execution of the court order Pending when so he will we'll go, to, so we're pending when we appeal the decision and the outcome of the decision. We all know the judiciary. The judiciary okay, look at it now. They're on strike. They're on strike. Yeah. So he's asking for the stay of execution of that order until the court determines the appeal. So he does not care whether his child goes to school or eats or is catered for or his welfare. Mm. He's, I said, fifty thousand man. That is how detached men can be. Hmm. And this is what he will spend in a club in one night. In one night. Oh, my God. You need to go to the magistrate court. Because what go are Go to they? the family court mm. and hear matters. You will be stunned. You will be shocked. That's why women, you must be very, very careful. Before you... When you are dating a man, just be very sure that man is a man that has regard for family life. Mm. Whether you're going to end up marrying him or, or not. not. Because the child can come out from that relationship. Mm. Let me hear you, Isi. Oh. With what she has You're overwhelmed. Done, um, <laughs> I, I think whatever you just do, just play with, play with protection. <laughs> hmm. yeah. This is so painful. Protect, I think protection is not just for the child, that is, the, the unwanted child that's supposed to come into the world out of such a relationship. It's also to protect the woman as well. And, you know, to avoid such a circumstance whereby the fatherly role of the man is is being demanded. Mm. You know, I think it's so it's so painful. I think let's let's In get our let's case, get our okay. Ua, yeah, go ahead. My first two kids, one is turning sixteen, the other one is fourteen. They are just the two kids that dad has. And In his entire take, life. Yeah, and he does still not take responsibility of those children. Since the age of when the first one was two. But there have also been cases... He doesn't of have other that children. Yes. No. Mm. Mm. He doesn't have other children. So do you think it's just in his nature not to be, not to be caring? Obviously. He does, his paternal instinct just did not refuse Obviously to care. Okay. Let me take a call. Um, thank you for joining us, Sam, from Potakot, I believe. Yeah, good evening, ladies. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for calling. Uh, Let's hear... Well, you are, you are on an interesting uh, topic. <laughs> uh, my take on that matter is that... Um, a lot of factors lead to this abandonment. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like the other the young lady said, any girl seeing any man around her should be very, very careful. Mm. Very, very careful. A lot of men, a lot of us are playboys. They have it as a game. Nah, nah, go try, you know, <laughs> just like that. They are not really prepared. Then a lot came from homes that they never believed they can make any difference. So they do it anyhow. 
anyhow. So a lot of factors again. So many girls are gold diggers. Hmm. If they run into your life again as a man, we discuss now nah, that baby now wow, and one come winch you. So hmm. these things go on and on and on. I advise my own sisters, when a man gets into your life, bring him to me. I'm a man. I now know what when the man is a game boy and when he's a serious guy. Absolutely. So a lot of time men shy away from exposing these things and at the end of the day they suffer a lot. Hmm. So bring their boyfriend to me. Oh boy, what do you gonna do for my house? You have a sister too. If you mess my sister up, I mess you up. <laughs> the guy knows that ah, this kid is serious. So is that if you say playboy, he has to run away. Hmm. So these are the things. So on Part behalf of, of the ladies, uh, you can only advise those who are from bad homes. Hmm. The way they want to run into that, you should make look good, attractive, and but immediately you discover that that's a defect. The guy finds a way and runs away hmm. from her. Hmm. So these are the factors. Thank and you, Sam. a whole lot of things that we have to guard against them. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. So let me take in a comment from, um, uh, I think um, this is from Ufoma. It says, Uwa, please, on this matter, note this. Not all women that um, a man ha has sex with, does, ha does he have planned to settle down with. with. Some women sell themselves cheap with some funny mentality. How can a 30-year-old woman be played by a man twice who made her abort once the first time? As a woman, um, is, it, is it all men in your past that you sleep with, uh, uh, with for procreation? The answer is no. Now, this woman chose to bear this child because um, time is running out for her biologically. This is another angle. Now, economic realities have set in, and she's forcing the world to call out this man. Women claim, uh, women claim my body, my choice. She chose to have the child. She can't afford uh, for, for it. She can't, uh, she can't for, for it uh, for a man who doesn't love her. I think, it, well, she claimed to have a, a child for a man that, who, that doesn't love her. So uh, he's saying that, you know, this is an interesting conversation. This is an interesting and comment. Oh, let me take Richard. Let me take Richard and I'll come to you, uh, you ladies. Richard, are you there? Thank you for joining us this evening. Let's hear what you have good to evening. say. Thank yeah, you. Good evening, guys. All right, good evening. Interesting topic. Very, very um, hmm. Yeah, for me, um, I think um, sometimes um, things happen when you don't really plan for them to happen. Hmm. Um, personally, during my undergrad days in the, in the 90s, it happened. And um, I had, now my daughter is 27. I'm not married to her mother, but I've been in her life since she was two years old. Wow. She has not lived in my house, even with my family, whatever. But I've been, in, I've been involved in her life. Today she's a graduate, she's working and everything. Oh, that's nice. Even the guy in her life, I know the guy in her life, and he's been fantastic. You know what people don't understand? If you don't do these things right, Posterity will not. Yeah, it's a ripple effect. That child, that child didn't, didn't beg to be born. Exactly. Two irresponsible adults got into a tango and brought that child in. That child will never suffer for their, for their indiscretion. Exactly. Thank you. All right, so let, I think Ufoma has sent in the correction. He was saying that women claim my body, my choice, that um, she can't um, force it on the man who doesn't love her, that you can't force a child on a man who doesn't love her. Mm. All right, so let's hear your comments then. Okay, this comment is from Ade. Ade says, good evening, ladies. We have, a good, we have good fathers out there that are responsible. The man has played his own goal. I think he, he meant, mm -hmm. or plays his own goal, I think. Yeah. So the woman should put his No, name. an own goal now. He has scored a goal, an own oh, goal. an yeah. own goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, so the woman should... Put his name and picture on Instagram. <laughs> I can assure you the man will show up or people that knows him will reveal the news to the, his wife. A case like this happened in Ogun State and the man paid for the maintenance of the child till date and the legal wife accepted the child into the family. However, I blame the woman in the uh, in other way, I think. Going for another indoor woman, game, second time going, after the first exactly, abortion. Exactly, going for. Uh, blame both parties. Blame both parties, yeah, which is what our, our, yeah. our caller just yeah. talked about. I, I, you know, I love what Richard said about posterity. Mm. I mean, look at what Lamy said about 
both her daughters. Mm. What would you as a man, and you know tomorrow, this patriarchal society will call you that you want to get married, you must bring, you must your, bring your father. The father will that wear one and Do you understand? And sit down. And like bada of shame. Do you not, thank you, do you not have shame? him the clothes that he's so supposed I'm to wear. So I'm even saying that, no matter the circumstance to which the child was birthed, that's not my business. You people were two irresponsible adults that decided to do something that the child did not pay for. I mean, the child did not ask for it. The child did not ask to be brought into this world. So what are you supposed to do as a responsible person? person the least you can do right is to make sure that that child goes to school does so many things you understand mm -hmm. ah, today we're having so many calls I think our sorry, social culture. sorry. Sorry. okay just remind me the next culture. from nasarawa state <laughs> thank you for calling mm. hello thank you for calling the next from nasarawa thank you let's hear what you have to say okay um good evening ladies good evening, good evening. okay very interesting conversation um, my first name observation, you would have also allowed, I know it's the ladies' night, you would have also allowed only one man or a guy <laughs> to also represent our... Well, that's why you are calling us now. We open the phone line so you can join um, us. <laughs> specifically to the lady in the middle. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay, so I, I think what we should understand is no matter how sweet the relationship is, we should be able to agree the terms of how the relationship should go. Mm. If I tell you we want to play and have fun, you know that I have a wife in the house. In as much as you are ready to speak, please be ready to speak to how we will move on. I, you know, um, like for this lady, we don't know the benefit what she has gained from the man. Exactly. She didn't say it too. Mm. But what we are hearing now is she took a decision. I believe in procreation. We should be able to decide from the two of us. There are men who will say, I have a wife in the house, but because of the way you are good, have a child for me, go your way. You can't go and take a decision by yourself as a woman, bring a child into the world. And expect the man to who to would have not wanted to go on. Even if you put his name in Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> That's why you can't come For a man, he would just tell his wife, I fuck up somewhere else. <laughs> what about the woman Find in the house? Now, the woman in the house has turned to be the person who fights you back. Hmm. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. I thank, you, 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 thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you're going to say something before. I hope <laughs> you've not lost your thoughts. <laughs> I, I was going to talk about social culture. Yeah. The fact that, you know, when the woman is, um, the child are of age, the children are of age and they go back, they have to go back to their father mm. and call their father in to represent them when they're getting married. Mm. I think the social culture is that we, uh, in African culture, we, we, We've given the men that role. Ooh, to... uh, we see, that's changing. <laughs> Don't even go there. That is changing. Personally, in my family, mm. two has happened. That the fathers were alive and the stepfathers walked down the tree. And they but, they had, but they had a father representing them. Yes. Oh, but their father itself mm -mm. did not represent they're, they're not getting We the did picture. not call the father. No, the key And guess what? Yeah. The marriage. Lami's already telling you that she's not going to call the father. <laughs> no, 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 no. It depends on my no, children. No, it depends on yeah. him. Yeah. And it also depends enough, on him. Sorry, funny enough, I am not vindictive. Mm. But my own issue is the father is based in Nigeria. My children are based abroad. Mm. So there is an issue of, if not, I would have dragged him to court now. But now, where do I drag him? Mm. Is he in Nigerian court? Or, or the UK? Yeah, because the children are not subject to the Nigerian court. Mm. So that's mm. a, if we were both the children, uh uh, I okay, would. so then another thing mm. is that a lot of women they also use children as baits. That's what yes. I was saying now, which is that's, what he wait, also talked yes, about. Gold diggers, yeah, no, not even that. Sometimes, because they know the father, some fathers are very involved and all that. If mm. anything goes wrong with the relationship, whether they don't they are not dating anymore or they do, this is a trap, they don't they don't release the children mm. to their father, saying thinking that that would start making the Make, father, you know, mm, kiss them, come and closer, they, yes, and all that. And a lot of men that I've seen, they just get more detached from the child. Mm. A lot of men, they're not wired that way. It is a little man can do, like, okay, I want to see my child and all that. And if you don't release the child, well, they'll just move on. Mean. Once they remarry, or another woman has a child, mm -hmm. for them, they will that's the end. even if you have five children for them, 
They will forget you That's and your true. children. Okay, so let me take more comments. This is from Benson. It says, greetings, ladies. I must say that your hairstyles look beautiful. Oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> Almost <laughs> distracting from the very serious topic. All right, we are sorry. I was privileged to be brought up in a family that's in bracket father, mother, responsible relatives. Fantastic. I unconsciously very... could not understand um, not doing same to my child. Fantastic. Upbringing also contributes to this rascality of not taking responsibility. Exactly. That a man will not love and protect his own is mm -hmm. abnormal. Mm -hmm. That's from Benson. You have one last comment for me. So upbringing plays a huge role. I totally agree. Now, um, this... Uh, there's no name here, Okay, though. go ahead. Okay, and it says the role, of up, the role of bringing up a human being that will carry and continue the human race is the biggest responsibility to mankind. Mm. The quality of upbringing is directly responsible for the quality of the society we live in today. Absolutely. Boko Haram, armed robbery, societal miscreants, all traceable to derelict parenting, mm. guardianship, and eventual governance. Totally agree with Absolutely. you. That's Absolutely. Absolutely. family. The entire the sense of, of yeah. Some all the problem that we're having Some now nation. from the family. That's why yeah. we keep saying that the family is the bedrock mm. of the society. So he says you are responsible for your actions and outcomes. A lot of single moms um, taking responsibility. Um, so I don't know because we're, we're running out of time. Oh. <laughs> I, it's, I, I didn't think we would have so much, so much calls and all of that. We should today. have a part two. We actually do need to have, because the reason I actually, when I saw this video, for me, it was not even about the two adults. Like I said, you know, they've done the, the stupid children. things that they're supposed to do. Exactly. But you see, this is a, like what Lamy said, it's a ripple effect, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's something that you don't know the extent to which it it's going to affect, affect the child. that child. Right. What gives that tomorrow this girl, the diamond girl, mm -hmm. will not be in the mother's position? Mm. Exactly. Do you understand? So you must understand that this has happened. I have mm. made a mistake. I don't have a problem with people making mistakes. So. What but. I have a problem with is that you know you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take responsibility mm -hmm. for that mistake that you have made and see how you can make your gold or your make, diamond make, out of the rough? Make oh, lemonade out of your story. lemons. Go ahead, please. If you can remember, mm -hmm. there was a story in America. There was this American billionaire that lodged into a hotel and probably had sexual relations with a certain woman mm. and dumped the used condom in a yes. bin. Yes, that the housekeeper. Ate, yes, the housekeeper mm. came in and, and inserted, did, inserted it. The you know the the sperm. The, the, I didn't want no, to take responsibility for that. You know, wait. He did. Now he mm. did not. But she now got pregnant and had the child and sued the man to court. And the court compelled the man to pay to child pay support. Child support for the child. Oh my because goodness. when whichever way a child comes to life, it's not their it's business. Not the business. The the business of the court or with the, of the society is the child. Social what you can now do culture. is to sue the woman. Mm. You can now sue the woman. Countess in damages and all that. Mm -hmm. But on the issue of that child, the court didn't want to be, We don't get, is the DNA. <laughs> is it your child? Yes. Yes. Come and look at that. So they don't even want to know how the child came about. But you know in Africa that would not work though. Why not? It won't. Listen, the court has not eradicated his right to sue the woman. But you have to, whether the child, you dated the mother or you didn't date the mother, you own that child and you must pay child maintenance for that child. But that mm. was very deceitful of the Very, lady. but, no, but this, is, this thing you're saying, deceit, is the same thing women do. You understand? That even with the physical activity that you actually go and you get, because you can actually take, what do they call that drug, the morning after? A day after whatever, mm. and you don't get pregnant. Mm. For you not to take it because you are intentional because about getting people pregnant. People have to agree to you have must, a child. You understand? One person you cannot agree. As a woman, I'm, woman and I'm calling another out child. all these women out there Stop that you it. think because some women also have done it too. They've seen a, a, a rich man and they seen that oh, this is going to be my what's it called retirement <laughs> plan. It's true. Let us be honest with ourselves. I can't come here. I'll come and be like I have like seen I women. Said, I've seen women. Jezebel. No, that's yes. Now you see, this is they will look at the man calculate. This one is my retirement plan. And there you deliberately women. get pregnant with a man. Six children for six rich men. Do you understand? They will be going from one. Yes, different. They will be going from one part, from one family now. to the other to get yes. property. Is our trademark? No, uh, I don't chief, know about chief, you. Chief, 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 chief. I don't know about your trademark. Life. It's in my own side. I'm it's it's not near me. Oh. Until they do it, in, you, don't, you didn't grow up in Benin now. Uh, I'm. T I'm calculating, I'm you know. You. So let, let, let us be real. You know, these things do happen. Absolutely. You know, but what I'm just appealing to the man because truly we can't compel him to be involved in the day-to-day -day lifestyle of the, the child, which but, is what the mother is asking for. But yes. at least you can show the girl 
that you have a father figure. A lot of women that end up having wrong relationship as, uh, as boyfriends is because they do not, they don't, they, first of all, the first person that's supposed to love them, father. the father figure that in okay. their life was absent. If I so you will in... see that, you will see ever so often they fall into the wrong hands if, in terms of relationships. I'm a chip in there. That I will totally agree with you. I had a classmate that had that problem and it took her a long time for her to actually settle with the right man. Mm. So it had severe psychological effect on her. Now, if it's a boy child, the boy can actually react to the man. But if it's a girl child, she is looking for a father figure in every man. And she'll she just go and be meeting all the wrong people. And she of meets people. all the idiots So the please, we're just, I, I, I can't remember his name. She called one very, mm. very ah, long something. Name. When I even heard AKA, something, something of, of Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yes, yeah. <laughs> of ah, Holland. my job. You know, <laughs> you know, but I'm just appealing. She's go, she is, she is going them. about it the like wrong Adi way. Said. Definitely. Yeah, like she will move on after two weeks. People will move on to another. Gym. Yeah, she is going after it. She's going about it the wrong way, but that does not stop him from doing the right thing. Yes. Um, Rafael Akori from Zara says, "Real men take responsibility." Absolutely. Totally. I, I mean, that's our quote for today. Totally. All right, so ladies, um, do you want to add anything because we ran out of time? We've Lami, what do you say? <laughs> okay, women. I will particularly talk to women. Mm. It's unfair for for someone to take a decision that will bind the other person for the rest of their life. For what he was You must for. agree on whether you want to have children together or not. If the man does not want, please, there are protection. Just protect yourself. Mm. It's not by force. Mm. Because you are bringing a child into that messy situation. So it's unfair on that child. Mm, absolutely. So I don't pity that woman. Uh, no, I don't pity her, actually. Go I ahead. I don't talk about pity or no pity here. <laughs> but the key thing is this. I am, I am an advocate for telling the girl child the signs to look out for in a man, mm. whereby you don't have to find yourself in that position in the first place. Mm. Just the way he said that men are predators looking for women to devour. I have one We women just, should actually stay away. No, I will say it off camera. learn how to avoid <laughs> I have one hot gist. See, mm. let me tell you something. There mm. is no man that mm. cannot turn 360. Even if it comes across that he's irresponsible at first. It depends on the approach you as a woman would, you know, present that child to that man. Jonathan, that's the hot gist I have for you. It depends. Yeah, I've seen men before reject a child and say, go and abort the child. And the moment and you have the child, they, they turn around happy. 360 this, and they take care of that child. Case, so what happens? What we're actually talking about is the context that you, do, you have the child and the man rejects the child. That's the context. It yeah, you don't get my point. I said it is the approach. Oh, so the woman should go uh, begging. No, people. it's not about begging. Yeah, it's, it's not, not about prison. Yeah. You have started with this. <laughs> it depends. It depends. Uh, 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 the that's man, one I would not uh, agree. This show has maybe, ended. Maybe the man has the fear of Easy. God in him in the first place. The show has ended. Okay. Here we go. We'll continue part two. <laughs> I'll bring both of you back. <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies, for a fantastic conversation. Thank you. All right. Ways was birthed from the need to inform, mm -hmm. inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Ways and follow us on all our social media handles, as this will be an all year round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on Ways. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. A real man takes care of his children, no matter what the relationship is with the mother of his child. It's a simple and short. Tomorrow is Friday, so we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.